Um, definitely, it will have a lot of impacts. Um, there will be more new jobs created. That's a good thing in a different skill set. And also, there will be a lot of job reduction. And there will be a lot of improved productivity. That means things that are done in two hours could be done in two minutes. And also, a lot of cost cutting. So people can work towards reducing the cost they're spending currently and also increasing revenue. So these are all at a high level impacts. I'm sure there will be more. You will see a significant impact in terms of people and their day-to-day -day life. So that's how I see for the next 10 to 15 years going to happen. I'm not going to fear about what AI is offering to the society. I'm going to worry about what is the impact it makes to the people, what is the impact it makes to the society. I think that is known for across the board. Everybody understands there will be an impact on the people, there will be impact on the society. But I think the government or the policy makers has to step forward, put some control around it. So I think that's the only way we can control. So I'm not worried about, or I'm not concerned about what AI is going to offer, but I'm concerned about the impact of AI to the society, the impact of AI to the people. So the impact that most likely what's going to happen the low-skilled professionals, people who's doing technical jobs, their jobs are going to be more automated. Example, a help desk technician who's trying to solve technical problem, a customer call service representative who's answering customer calls, those jobs could be easily replaced by AI-based models. So that's the type of job I'm thinking will have a severe impact and what is going to happen for those individuals, those professionals. So that's what I was saw, talking about. The government has to come up with a policy. How do we prevent these kind of job reduction? What is the alternate for these people? I think that is my biggest concern at this point, and that's the type of job is going to have a more impact. Either people are forced to learn new advanced skills to work on AI-based models, or people have to find an alternate way to do something different. To do AI kind of implementation, you need to have learning talent. So where people can come and learn and do things quickly. So there's a lot of good university here. And those universities create talent for people to come and learn. And Montreal also has a good business model. So combination of both the diversified culture, which is people from different disciplines and different culture, and having a strong business model together in a single place would definitely have more beneficial to build an uh, AI innovation or AI-based hub in Montreal. Correct? I'm not saying it's not possible for other cities, but compared to other cities, you have both the talent, have a business, so working together would be a best way to build an AI-based competency around cities and, and services here local in Montreal.